Welcome to December 2025, a month already making headlines for its dramatic and unpredictable weather patterns across the United States. As the final month of the year begins, Americans from coast to coast are bracing for a winter season that's shaping up to be both memorable and challenging. From blizzards shutting down highways to heavy snow piling up on city streets, winter's arrival is impossible to ignore. The first major storms of the season have already left their mark, disrupting travel and daily routines for millions. Across the U.S., winter storms are blanketing the Midwest and Great Lakes, with more on the way. Cities like Chicago and Detroit are seeing relentless snowfall, while smaller towns are digging out from under several inches of accumulation. A major Arctic blast is set to plunge much of the country into a deep freeze by the weekend, bringing the coldest air of the season. Temperatures are expected to drop well below average, with wind chills making it feel even colder. Residents in places like North Dakota and Minnesota are preparing for dangerous conditions as frostbite and hypothermia become real risks. Meanwhile, the West Coast faces a different set of challenges as heavy rain and flooding threaten communities from California to Washington. Streets in cities like San Francisco and Los Angeles are already seeing rising water levels, and forecasters warn that more storms are on the horizon. In the central and eastern states, residents are bracing for a combination of snow, ice, and dangerously cold temperatures. From New York City to Ohio and Pennsylvania, people are shoveling sidewalks and preparing for hazardous travel conditions as winter tightens its grip. The Pacific Northwest is drenched by an atmospheric river, bringing relentless rain to cities like Seattle and swelling rivers throughout Oregon. Flood warnings are in effect, and emergency crews are on high alert for potential landslides and road closures. The northern tier will see a parade of fast-moving snow systems, each one capable of dropping several inches of snow in just a few hours. These quick-hitting storms can catch drivers off guard and make travel treacherous with little warning. Even the southeast isn't spared, with heavy rain sweeping through Florida and Georgia. Flash flooding is a concern, and residents are urged to stay informed as severe weather moves through the region. With deep snowpacks reinforcing the cold, everyone needs to stay alert for rapidly changing hazardous conditions. Emergency alerts are being issued across multiple states, reminding people to check forecasts and prepare for sudden shifts in the weather. Winter is here, and it's not letting up anytime soon. As storms continue to sweep the nation, staying informed and prepared will be key to staying safe in the weeks ahead. The polar vortex is a massive, persistent area of low pressure and cold air that swirls around the Earth's poles, especially the North Pole, high up in the atmosphere. It acts like a giant cold air reservoir, usually kept in check by the fast-moving jet stream. But sometimes, this icy giant breaks loose, sending frigid air plunging much farther south than usual. This year, the polar vortex is about to take center stage in our weather story, and its impact could be felt by millions across North America. Meteorologists have been tracking its movement for weeks, watching as it shifts and strengthens, preparing to unleash a wave of Arctic air. A powerful vortex over Hudson Bay is now connecting with its stratospheric counterpart, creating a rare and potent setup. This connection is unleashing a surge of Arctic air southward, setting the stage for a dramatic change in our weather patterns. The cold air is poised to spill out of the Arctic, reaching deep into the heart of the continent. This isn't a typical cold front, it's a true Arctic outbreak, with air masses originating from the frigid, sunless regions of Siberia and the North Pole. These areas experience months of darkness and extreme cold, creating some of the coldest air on the planet. When this air is unleashed, it brings a level of chill that is both intense and long-lasting. As this cold mass moves south, a strong high-pressure system will settle in over the United States, effectively locking the Arctic air in place. This means the deep freeze won't be a brief event, it will linger with temperatures staying well below normal for days or even weeks. In some areas, the jet stream, which usually acts as a barrier, is now buckling and dipping far to the south. This shift is channeling the cold air directly into the central and eastern United States, making these regions the epicenter of the coming cold snap. The altered jet stream pattern will also steer storms and snow into these areas, compounding the winter weather impacts. Deep snowpack in the Midwest will keep the cold intense, as the bright reflective snow bounces sunlight back into space and prevents any significant warming. 
this snow cover acts like a refrigerator, maintaining the chill and making it even harder for temperatures to recover, especially during the day. This setup will create the most extreme cold snap of the season, with widespread impacts on travel, infrastructure, and public safety. Roads will become treacherous, flights may be delayed or canceled, and power grids could be strained as demand for heating skyrockets. Emergency crews are already preparing for the challenges ahead. Prepare for dangerously cold weather that demands respect and readiness. Dress in layers, limit time outdoors, and check on vulnerable neighbors. The coming days will test our resilience, so stay informed and stay safe as the polar vortex makes its presence known. Brace yourself for a truly historic cold snap. Temperatures are forecast to plunge as much as 55 degrees below normal across large swaths of the Midwest and Ohio Valley. This isn't just a typical winter chill, it's an Arctic outbreak that will grip the region with some of the coldest air seen in decades. Meteorologists are warning that the scale and intensity of this cold could rival some of the most extreme events on record. A powerful high-pressure system is settling in over a deep, widespread snowpack. At night, the clear skies will allow any remaining warmth to radiate out into space, leaving the ground and air above it to cool rapidly. This process, known as radiational cooling, will send overnight temperatures plummeting to life-threatening lows, especially in rural and open areas where the snow is deepest. In North Dakota, wind chills could reach a staggering 40 below zero, with Minnesota not far behind. These are the kinds of conditions where exposed skin can freeze in just a few minutes, and even brief trips outside can be dangerous. The combination of biting winds and frigid air will make it feel even colder than the thermometer suggests. At these extreme levels, frostbite and hypothermia become real threats. Medical experts warn that frostbite can set in on exposed skin in as little as 5 to 10 minutes. It's crucial to cover up completely, limit time outdoors, and check on neighbors, especially the elderly, or those without adequate heating. The cold will reach its peak next weekend, with widespread wind chills of 20 to 30 below zero across the upper Midwest. Even the Ohio Valley will see wind chills in the teens below zero, a rare and dangerous event for this region. Schools and businesses may close, and outdoor activities will be strongly discouraged. Even cities that rarely see such extreme cold will feel the impact. Urban areas unaccustomed to these temperatures may struggle with icy roads, frozen pipes, and increased demand for heating. Residents will need to take extra precautions to stay safe and warm. By Sunday, the deep freeze will be firmly entrenched, putting immense strain on power grids as millions crank up the heat. Vulnerable populations, including the homeless and those with limited resources, will be at heightened risk. Community shelters and warming centers may see increased demand as people seek refuge from the bitter cold. Some areas may challenge or even break all-time December records for low temperatures. Weather historians are watching closely as this event could rewrite the record books in several states. The last time temperatures dropped this low, entire communities were brought to a standstill. Travel will be extremely hazardous. Vehicles can break down or become stranded in snowdrifts, and in these conditions, help may take longer to arrive. If you must travel, keep an emergency kit in your car and let someone know your route and expected arrival time. Remember, a simple breakdown could quickly become life-threatening in this kind of cold. Now is the time to prepare. Insulate your home, stock up on food and water, and make sure your car is winter ready. Check your emergency plans and supplies, and reach out to family and neighbors who may need extra help. This severe Arctic outbreak will test everyone's readiness. Don't wait until it's too late to get prepared. While the heartland freezes, the Pacific Northwest faces a different threat, a powerful atmospheric river. Torrents of tropical moisture are slamming into Washington and Oregon, dumping inches of rain and raising the risk of flash floods and mudslides. Some areas could see over six inches of rain by Tuesday, with flood watches in effect. The ground is saturated, so new rainfall will quickly overwhelm rivers and drainage systems. This pattern will persist, with wave after wave of heavy rain and mountain snow through mid-December. Mountain passes will be treacherous, with heavy snow and avalanche risks. Residents in flood-prone areas should be ready to evacuate if needed. This is a major weather event for the region. Stay alert and prepared. 
The Midwest and Great Lakes are in for more snow as another Alberta clipper arrives Monday. Expect 1 to 3 inches of fresh snow across Minnesota, Wisconsin and Michigan, making roads slick for the evening commute. A series of clippers will keep snow chances high all week, steadily building the snowpack. Lake effect snow will ramp up as Arctic air moves over the Great Lakes, dumping heavy, localized snow in some areas. Towns downwind of the lakes should prepare for significant, travel-halting snow. The deepening snowpack will amplify the coming cold, ensuring temperatures drop to their lowest potential. Northern Illinois already has over 18 inches of snow, proof of winter's power. More snow is coming, followed by dangerous life-threatening cold. Winter has a firm grip on the region. The east coast and southeast are also in for a wild week. Lake effect snow is already causing tricky travel in upstate New York and New England. A quick hitting winter storm will bring one to three inches of snow to the mid-Atlantic, disrupting Tuesday's commute. Cold air damming will enhance snow chances along the Appalachians. Meanwhile, the southeast faces heavy rain, with two to three inches possible in Georgia and Florida, leading to localized flooding. By week's end, the Arctic air will spread east bringing the coldest temperatures of the season to the east coast. Even the southeast will see below average temperatures. This sets the stage for a frigid lead up to the holidays. Any future storms could bring snow or ice to a larger portion of the east. Stay prepared for rapidly changing conditions. The active cold pattern will persist through mid-December. Clipper systems will repeatedly bring rounds of snow to the Northern Plains, Midwest, Great Lakes, and New England, steadily building the snowpack. The Pacific Northwest Mountains will continue to get hammered with feet of snow, while flooding remains a threat in western Washington and Oregon. Cross-polar flow will keep cold air locked into the Great Lakes and Northeast. The West Coast will start to cool, with heavy mountain snow likely reaching the Sierra Nevada. This pattern sets up a widespread white Christmas for much of the northern U.S. stay, alert for more snow, cold, and potential flooding. Winter's grip is only tightening. Looking ahead to late December and January, models suggest a major pattern shift. The coldest air will move west, plunging into the western U.S., while a ridge brings milder weather to the southeast. This sets up a battle zone across the central U.S., primed for larger, more, impactful snowstorms. Expect bigger storms tracking from the plains to the Great Lakes, with heavy snow and ice possible. The snow line will push farther south in the west. Great news for ski resorts and water supplies. The southeast may see milder weather but could face severe storms along the boundary. Winter's story is far from over. Expect more dynamic, high-impact weather as the season deepens. With heavy snow, flooding, and dangerous cold ahead, preparation is essential. Check your heating system, seal drafts, and prevent frozen pipes at home. Dress in layers, cover extremities, and limit time outdoors to avoid frostbite and hypothermia. If you must travel, ensure your vehicle is winter-ready and carry an emergency kit with blankets, food, and water. Stay in your vehicle if stranded. It's safer and easier to find. Monitor weather alerts through multiple sources and check on vulnerable neighbors. In the Pacific Northwest, be ready to evacuate if flooding threatens. The weather is dynamic, forecasts can change quickly. Respect the power of winter storms and stay informed. With preparation and caution, we can all get through this safely.